I thought I'd do a short video to show kind of what my workflow looks like. So I usually start with something like this. Um, block out an image. And then I create a vector graphic of it. And I mark up different paths in this vector graphic um, with data that tells um, a program I wrote how to generate a 3D model from it. So if you look at this one, all this metadata is just built in to that path, so there's nothing here. Bad example. But if I click on like this guy, and I look over here, you can say, see I have something set to three. Um, and that'll be three units tall. Um, and in the program you define what your units are. Uh, I set units to just one millimeter. So that's saying that that little piece should be three millimeters tall. So I print it off on my 3D printer and that's a whole process to print it, clean it, cure it, and then I spray paint it white or black depending on what I'm trying to do. These guys I've painted white. I let them dry and then I start using acrylic paints on them. Um, and for things like this where color is very important, um, especially the differences between color. I like to work with my image in front of me and then I try to get my colors pretty much the same. They don't have to be uh, identical, just close enough um, for me to be happy with it, that it, you know that it looks appealing. And this one I'm trying some new stuff on too. So um, I think I have some other pictures of it, but before I spray painted it, I masked it with Silly Putty. You can see that on the back. The pink is Silly Putty. That way I had a channel for the river that I'm going to run through this. I also masked the back of it. You notice that's uh, transparent it's because I didn't apply spray paint. I'm going to apply a second mask when I'm done using my acrylic paints on it and get this all pretty, I'm going to apply some tape or putty or something across the top of it to mask it away. And then I'm going to go get this um, reflective spray paint to paint on the back. And because I didn't apply any white spray paint on the top, I should have a reflective river running through this little landscape that I built. And if you look from the side, this is kind of how I staggered the uh, hills to give it a three-dimensional look. That's about all I got to say right now. See ya!